start with one just to lead off. Incredible final round, eight under 62 today. Did you feel something like that coming on, and how special was it to be doing it right here? Yeah, it definitely felt like the last few days I played really solidly. Just, you know, last few weeks even, um, just hadn't, you know, maximized the game, hadn't got as much out of the game as I wanted. And definitely uh, nice to have a low round today. Um, played really well. And yeah, it was it was definitely uh, definitely felt it coming. Um, you know, don't want to get too far ahead of yourself out there, but uh, you know, I knew if I just was patient and kept trusting the game, then uh, you know, good things were going to happen. And nice to have a good score today. And low, go ahead. Hey Corey, you, how rewarding is it go, coming off a round like that, going to a major championship, and how important would it have been, sort of, had you not had a round like this? How much does this help going into next week? Yeah, it, it certainly helps. Um, you know, I feel very positively about all parts of my game. So, um, you know, disappointed to come up a little bit short here. I just didn't quite, uh, like I said, get as much out of the game as I could the first few rounds. But uh, a lot of positive uh, mojo into the U.S. Open next week. You said you were playing, you felt like you were playing well all week, and but the score sort of came on the weekend. Um, what is, what's the difference there? Is it a... Uh... Yeah, I think just being a little bit tidier, you know, avoiding mistakes. I uh, was able to do that really well the last couple of days. Um, saving par pots, just converting the birdies when I had a chance, really. Um, I got on a, a few runs out there where I made a, a few putts in a row, and, um, you know, that's kind of what, what I've been missing uh, the last uh, few days. Hey, Corey, uh, congratulations on winning the Rivermead Challenge Cup as the low professional Canadian at the Canadian Open. That is quite the accomplishment and really puts you in Canadian golf history books. How does that feel? Hey, it feels great. Um, you know, obviously, there's a, another trophy that we're all uh, here playing for, uh, so hopefully uh, someday can can get my name on that one as well. But it feels really special. There's a great list of Canadians who have their names on that trophy, so definitely an honour to have my name added. Um, yeah, it, was a, it was a great week, and um, I'll hopefully uh, start there and can uh, challenge for the, the title uh, in the next few years. It's uh, for you and other Canadians, it's sort of back to back majors with the Canadian Open and then the U.S. Open next week. Is that tough to go from two really big tournaments back to back? Um, not really. I mean, week in, week out on the PGA Tour, there's, there's really big events, you know, trying to get yourself up for each week um obviously this week has a little something extra for me is a little extra special being my you know national open um you know excited for the u.s open you know looking ahead now it'll be uh, another really fun challenge uh, i feel like a lot of the you know things that did here will serve me well um next week at the country club um the course was set up great this week and sort of major championship rough and um needed to hit uh different types of shots and make sure you kept the ball in the short stuff. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, it was a great week this week and trying to have some more fun next week. Corey, it's a great chapter for Canadian golf. It's some of the classic golf courses, Hamilton, St. G's, Oakdale. Have you played Oakdale since the GAO better ball? Uh, and what, what are you looking forward to at next year's RBC Canadian Open? Yeah, I have not played uh, since the GAO better ball. Um, Remember the course being being beautiful. Um, really looking forward to the RBC Canadian Open now next year. Uh, I know they're going to put on another great show. It's been incredible the last few years, and I'm you know going to be excited uh, to get back here uh, in a year's time. Uh, Corey, I'm not sure if you heard this, but uh, while you were out on the course, Brooke Henderson won her 11th title. Uh, in New Jersey, she eagled on uh, the par 5 18 in a playoff. I don't know if you'd heard, but what are your reactions to uh Yeah, I, I did just hear that, and, uh, you know, I'm blown away. She's incredibly talented, and, you know, from all Canadians, congrats, Brooke. That's really, really special. You know, 11 wins uh, on the LPGA Tour is so amazing, and, um, you know, I'm sure she's far from done uh, with that. She's an incredible young lady and obviously an incredible player, so... Congrats, um, you know, well done, and uh, enjoy a nice celebration. Just to bring it back to uh, the U.S. Open next week, how do you prepare for that, given, you know, I know this was a demanding week for you and, and the other Canadians. Um, Adam Hadwin's going to be playing as well. How do you stay up and stay, like, keep your energy up and stay physically fit? Yeah, I feel like I've learned 
uh, over the last few years, you know, how to manage the energy, how to be ready to play, and how to prepare for big championships. So, um, you know, I've got a good plan heading in, try and stick to it. And, excuse me. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, just, just have some fun. I think, um, you know, I'm feeling still pretty energized. It was a fun day today. And, uh, you know, next week's going to be great as well. Thanks, Corey. Thank you.